Today we're talking about six signs that your body shows you that might mean that you're nutrient deficient. And the first sign is hair loss. Now everyone loses a small amount of hair every day. And we've probably all found those random strands of hair in places that they shouldn't be before, right? But we actually can lose up to 100 strands of hair per day, and that's considered completely normal. However, if you suddenly find big chunks or clumps of hair coming out of your head, that's definitely a sign that you need to talk to the doctor. It's typically either a thyroid issue or um, an iron deficiency or a vitamin B12 deficiency. And if this is you, if you found yourself losing big clumps of hair, try and think about what you're currently consuming. Think about how much iron you're getting in your diet from things like spinach and red meat or even a multivitamin that you might be taking. And if you can rule out one or two potential causes, that might help clear things up or at least give you a better understanding of your deficiency. Okay, so that was the first sign, hair loss. The next one is um, a burning sensation, and that might be in your feet or even in your tongue. This typically means a B12 deficiency, and B12 is vital for oxygenation of our blood. So B12 produces hemoglobin as part of your red blood cells, and you get B12 from a lot of animal products and meat, so, Vegetarians and vegans, they're much more susceptible to a B12 deficiency. Doctors can do blood tests to check your B12 levels and they can help you determine um, whether or not you're low. And then you can get supplements in addition to just trying to introduce more of that vitamin into your diet through animal products or eggs, meat, fish, nutritional yeast, even milk. All right, so that was the burning sensation. The next sign is when your wounds are slow to heal. Slow healing wounds like scratches that won't heal or uh, red gums that bleed when you're brushing or flossing your teeth um, or even just your body seeming to bruise easily. All these can be signs of a vitamin C deficiency. And this can actually get pretty serious if it's left untreated. Um, it can result in what's called scurvy if you're deficient for too long. And it's actually common in people from low socioeconomic statuses who suffer from malnutrition. Um, another less common cause is a result of smoking because uh, smoking cigarettes does limit the body's ability to absorb vitamin C. So the best way to recover from this deficiency is just to incorporate more foods that are high in vitamin C into your diet, like citrus fruits, like kiwis, um, and red bell peppers as well. You can also get vitamin C in supplement form, but like always, real food is better than supplements. And unfortunately, most vitamin C supplements are like 75% sugar. So do yourself a favor, eat an orange instead. All right, so next is a little weird, but it's actually bone pain. You know, when kids go through those growing pains, well, adults sometimes feel like they have bone pain that can be similar to that, and that can be a sign of vitamin D deficiency. You can get vitamin D from fatty fish, like salmon, um, sardines, even canned tuna. You can also go out and sit in the sunshine for 15 minutes, and that will give you a daily dose of vitamin D as well from the sun. So if you have pain in your bones, consider increasing your vitamin D. All right, deficiency number five is having an irregular heart rate or chest pains. This can be a sign of a calcium deficiency and calcium deficiencies can also show up in um, like muscle cramps and muscle twitches because calcium plays such an important role in muscle relaxation. So if that's you, if you're having muscle pain, muscle cramps, muscle spasms, consider eating more fatty fish like salmon. You could also eat broccoli. Um, of course, dairy products like milk and yogurt contain high calcium. And the last sign or symptom of a deficiency is going to be um, a generalized muscle weakness, constipation, and irregular heart rhythm. These three signs together are sign of a potassium deficiency. And potassium deficiencies can take a while to show up, but potassium is what offsets the sodium that we ingest from excess salt. 
So potassium basically manages the water content in our cells. And potassium also helps our muscles, nerves, and heart function properly. So this makes potassium extremely important for our blood pressure. Low potassium occurs in a person using diuretics, um, using excessive alcohol, uh, sweating a lot, or having diarrhea. And it can occur pretty quickly if a person gets sick for a week or so. It can also occur more slowly, um, like when a person eats too much processed foods and they're not getting enough fresh fruits and vegetables in their diet. So this leads us to the cure, which is more fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, try and include more bananas, eat raisins, baked potatoes with the skin on it, um, drink more milk and consume more legumes like lentils. All right, so that is our six signs of nutrient deficiency. And I will finish our video by saying the best way to overcome all of these is by increasing the amount of whole fresh foods that you're eating in your diet and decreasing processed foods. And if you're concerned about a deficiency, like we talk, talked about today, I would speak to your doctor, see what tests they can do for you and see if they can help you get to the bottom of what's going on. All right, thanks for watching. And until next time, everyone, be well, and I'll see you soon.